Here we're going to be asked to find the sides of a rectangle if we know what the perimeter is. It's important that we know the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle, and that is if we take 2 times the length plus the width. That's because on a regular rectangle, we've got 2 widths and 2 lengths. So we've got two, if we add them together, width plus length, it's there twice. That's where we get the formula from. Also, an important little vocabulary, width is always the short side. Length is the long side, so if we're asked for the width, we're asked to find the short side. If we're asked for the length, we're asked to find the long side. So if we are told that a rectangle is 3 times as long as it is wide, and the perimeter is 112, what is the length? Well, let's see what we know. It is 3 times as long as it is wide. The length and the width is what we're comparing. The length is 3 times as long as it is wide. How wide is it? Well, we don't know, so we'll make that our variable. The length is 3 times that, so that must be 3x. So if we add that together, there's a total of 4x's. That's adding the length plus the width, but we still need to multiply that by 2 to get the perimeter. So we'll multiply that by 2, and that will equal our perimeter of 112. Multiplying 2 times 4, we get 8x is equal to 112, and we can quickly solve by dividing by 8 to find out x is 112 divided by 8, or 14. But that's not the end of our problem, because the length is what we're asking for. The length is 3 times x, 3 times the 14, which is going to be 42. Putting some units on there, 42 centimeters is the length of this rectangle. So again, how we solve that is we represented the length and the width, and added them together, and then we multiply by 2. Let's try another example where we see that process worked out. In this problem, we're told the width of the rectangle is 6 less than the length. That should be length. If the perimeter is 52, what is the width? Well, let's see what we know about the length and the width. First, we're told the width is 6 less than the length. Well, what is the length? We don't know, so we'll call that x. All we know is the width is 6 less than that, and less means we're subtracting, and subtraction's always built backwards. 6 less than the other guy, 6 less than x. We also know if we add these together, we get 2x minus 6. For perimeter, we take length plus width, and then we have to multiply the solution by 2, to equal the perimeter. What is the perimeter? 52 centimeters. So let's solve it. Distribute the 2 through, gives us 4x minus 12 equals 52. Adding 12 to both sides, 4x is equal to 64. And finally, dividing both sides by 4 gives us x is equal to 16. The question's asking, what is the width? So I go up here to my width. My width is x minus 6. 16 minus 6 is 10 centimeters, putting the units on there. 10 centimeters is the width of this rectangle. Again, with perimeter, we add the length and width together and multiply the result by 2. This will give us an equation we should be able to solve from there.